And we are live. This is April 18th, 2024. Oh my gosh, where are you watching from in the world? If you are playing the lottery, which games are you playing? Of course, we interview quite a few lottery winners on this channel. Also, people that have triumphed over the odds in various ways in life. I do these impromptu lives from time to time, but also podcast interviews. But let me know which lottery games are you playing from all around the world, and who do you want to see me interview on this channel? Also, people that are very much into the power of our intuition, manifestation, power of the subconscious mind, all this stuff, all this stuff. But I jump on these lives from time to time. Hi, wishing you all the best. Raquel, thank you so much. Wishing you all the best. Switzerland is here. Swiss lioness, amazing. And hello to you. Atlanta, Georgia, Lotus. Hello, Lotus. Hello to you. Hello to you. And we had a, a guest suggestion a little bit ago from Mike James for Jerry Selby. Who has seen Jerry and Marge Go Large, the movie? Start with Brian Cranston. Has anybody seen that movie? I mean, that is a that person, those the story is amazing. They supposedly I mean, fixed the system with mathematics and won, I think it was around 27 million over the years. It's an incredible movie. You should check it out. Ascension Avenue. Hello from Maryland. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Sharon Crawford. So in this live, I'm going to be taking your questions live. Also jumping into uh, some of the upcoming interviews on this podcast. Hello, Claire Nanomi, who is a member of this channel. I just want to Thank you, Claren Nanomi, and all the members of this channel. Thank you so much for your support. It's This is a labor of love, and I am truly, truly grateful for all of the members who are supporting this channel. It just means the world to me. Thank you very much, and hello to you, Claren Nanomi. Euro Millions, Euro Dreams, and Swiss Lotto from Switzerland. Amazing. There are people playing the lottery all over the world. Which games are you guys playing? Of course, in the United States, Powerball and Mega Millions are huge. Euro Millions, Euro Jackpot are huge in many parts. Mega Sina down in Brazil, Malate in Mexico. I play Cash for Life, and I'm going to contact you, Timothy, as soon as I hit the big one. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I look forward to hearing from you. Anything is possible. Absolutely. Just play responsibly, but it is possible. MQ from Canada. Lotto Max, Lotto 649 is very popular up there. I've interviewed a few lottery winners from there, including Randy Rush, who won 50, 50 million from Lotto Max. If you've not watched that, you should check it out. Arian Melton. Hello, Timothy from Texas. Hello, Arian. Hello in Texas. Louisiana, Roxanne. Hello, Roxanne. South Africa. Greetings, my brother. Hello in South Africa. Hello, hello. I just interviewed someone from South Africa a couple weeks ago who won a Mr. Beast Prize. And that um, interview is coming to you soon. Watch for that. Diana, who here's another member of our channel. Thank you so much, Diana, for, for being a member of this channel. I'm truly, truly grateful. And hello in Los Angeles. Hello in Los Angeles. Which movie, Matra? So, which movie are we talking about? Mar Jerry and Marge go large with Brian Cranston. Have you guys seen this movie? Have you guys seen this movie? It's uh, it's about this couple that actually, I mean, it, it's about these people that used, I believe, mathematics to win, like fix the system, <laughs> and win a bunch of money. I'm doing a terrible job of, of uh, the synopsis, but you guys should check out that movie, Heather. Reagan. Hi, Tim. Hello, Heather. I am the winner of the 103 million pound Euro Millions jackpot tomorrow night. Michael. Michael, I love that attitude. Absolutely. Have you guys seen my interview with Euro Millions winner uh, who won 108 million pounds? I That came out not too long ago, a few months ago. You guys should check that out. And it, I'm sure that so many of you have seen it. Euro Millions Swiss Lottery. Amazing Powerball, Mega Millions, Pick Four, Lotto Max in Canada, Euro Jackpot, 115 million euros tomorrow. Wow. All right, let's let's pull this up. There we are. How are you guys doing today? This is an impromptu live. We're just gonna be on here for a few minutes, but I love connecting with you guys when I can. So we are going to be uh, taking your questions, letting you know some of the upcoming interviews on this channel, but. Since you mentioned that, let's take a look at this. Euro Millions right now, 120 
million euros up for grabs. And I believe that's tax free. That's Friday, Friday. So that's tomorrow. That there's 120 million reasons <laughs> to 220 million things I can think to do with that. That's an insane amount of money. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Blessings, Timothy from Chicago, S Serbia. Hello. Hello in Serbia. Thank you for joining today. I'm playing the lottery and I asked the universe to let me win the lottery and I got $8. I'm definitely asking for more next time. Manifestations. Hey, well, $8 is $8. I don't know how many tickets you bought, but if you bought just one ticket, you quadrupled your money right there. But congratulations to you for $8. Pra Prajikara, can you interview another Mr. Beast winner? Oh, you interview. Yeah, you're asking. I interviewed someone that won a, a Mr. Beast contest on Twitter. So, well, now it's known as X. It's not Twitter anymore, but um, yes, I did. But I have several new interviews coming soon with lottery winners and others. I just interviewed someone that won a lottery jackpot who was running for Congress in the United States as well as a renowned lottery attorney, one of the most renowned lottery attorneys in the United States. Watch for that. But it's not just the United States. People from all over the world. Yesterday, literally, I ordered, just interviewed someone that has played Michael Myers in multiple Halloween movies for people that are into horror movies. But he's also very spiritual and very into uh, our energy and manifestation and that sort of thing. So it was just a really fascinating conversation as well as a, someone that just made millions on crypto. And I'm going to show you the, the trailer for that in a little bit. Is the lotto real? Are you with the CIA to make us think it's real? Hmm. Lazy D. Lazy D with the tough. Well, that's actually not a tough question. It's kind of a funny question, though. I mean, the lotto is real. And I don't work for the lotto. I don't work for the lottery. I'm not here to promote the lottery. No one is paying me to promote the lottery. And I get from time to time, I get these comments and I don't know, you might just be joking around, but I do legitimately get comments and people like this person is an actor. You're not even the real Timothy Schultz. Are you really the real Timothy? Yes, I am. I am. And I'm not an actor. I'm being authentic and I'm not here to, to uh, promote the lottery, but, but it is, I mean, it's real. It's real. Just play responsibly. It is real though. I mean, I, I interview people all the time that have won various lottery prizes. It's the story of my life. I have been very open and authentic about it. And I just, I love meeting. It's very cathartic to meet other winners. So that's one of the reasons. And I love journalism. I love producing and interviewing people. And that's why I'm doing this. Vanessa Isan, I love your channel. First time live. Wow. Well, welcome. Welcome to this live. And thank you so much for your for your comment. Believe I heard the the story. It's really interesting. So I think you're talking about the the um, Jerry Selby story that we were talking about earlier. Okay. Hi Timmy. Hi Timmy. I loved your last interview with Doctor Dream. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so glad that you enjoyed that interview with Kelly Sullivan Walden. If you guys have not checked that out and you're even remotely interested in the power of our dreams, manifestation, intuition, any of that stuff, it's a fascinating interview. I highly recommend it. It came out last week, so check that out. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Sigrid here from Germany. Nice to meet you here. Well, hello. Hello in Deutschland. Hello. Thank you for, thank you for joining. Missouri is here. Pam. Okay. Well, thank you for joining from Missouri. So precise and good questions. The latest interview. Well, thank you very much. So I'm going to jump into this chat is blowing up by the way. And if you're not, if you're watching this and this is no longer live, put your questions or comments below this video because I love checking them out. I love checking them out. And I try to get to all of them that I can. And I'm going to dive back into this live, this live um, chat here in just a moment, but I do want to show you guys the trailer for this interview that's coming up. It's either coming out at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. It's literally the next interview on this channel. This is the first time this has ever um, aired anywhere. This this trailer. Let me see if I can pull this up. This so this is 
with someone that won. No, he didn't win. See, he didn't even win <laughs> the lottery, but it's similar. He won, he has millions, millions from crypto, from Bitcoin. He also has a very popular YouTube channel, Sam Price. And his, he's also very much into man. 40,000 to 60,000 in the last few weeks. Last night alone, it went from 57 to 64. If you own 20 of them, in the last two days, you know, you've made over a quarter million dollars. It is very like hitting the lottery. And that's why I tell everyone, cryptocurrency is the next best thing to hitting the lottery. It really, really is. I envision my accounts going up. I envision being a great trader. I'm gonna use manifestation as much as I can. You can dream and you can manifest. There's two different things. You have to actually be involved in the manifestation process, you know? And Welcome to Lottery Dreams and Fortune. So that is the next interview coming out on this channel with Sam Price. And we talk all about crypto, Bitcoin, how he has made millions on that, and also his spiritual beliefs and his beliefs in the power of our energy and manifestation. It's a fascinating interview. So check that out. But let's dive back into this. Matthew Barnes. Good day, Tim. Thanks for being here today. Matthew Barnes. Well, thank you for being here. Hello, hello to you. Good evening, everybody, everywhere. Hola, Timothy. Guten Abend. Another person in Germany. I, I assume Germany, because that's German. Sheila. Sheila Grayman. Hello to you. Hello to you. Okay. Let's, let's, the lottery is real. My mom's cousin, husband, won win for life and my mom's high school friend's son is married to a daughter of a lottery winner one one in new york and the, the other in florida wow cc you have a lot of lottery winners circling in your life well if if any of these people want to be appear on this show have them email my team <laughs> because even if it's the amount doesn't matter. It's the story. It's the person. Like we're even recording short testimonials. I have so many interviews right now that are recorded and being edited that are coming soon. So email my team if they are at all interested. And we can also keep people anonymous. We can blur faces. We can disguise voices. Keep any sensitive information out of the interview. Brooklyn is in the house. GJ Sugar Ray, hello to you. Great interview, Kim G. Well. Thank you, Kim G. I'm not sure which interview you mean, but I appreciate I appreciate your support. Have you thought about writing a book, Native 2458? Thank you for your question. Yes, I have. And I absolutely am going to be publishing a book or it's going to be published by somebody else uh, at some point. So you'll hear about it once, once it is complete. Thank you so much for your question. Para dime minor he has great energy i think you're referring to the an interview that we just talked about that's coming soon on this channel with the with sam price who basically he came across millions millions didn't just come across it but he grew it for with bitcoin he's a very popular youtube channel too watch for that soon i will be on your show soon lonnie the lion well lonnie i look forward to that greetings from california Looks awesome. I'm glad that you think so. Thank you very much. I came I came from that channel. Wow, Paradigm Miner. So you are legitimately really into Bitcoin, apparently, or crypto. It is, it is interesting. And some people compare it to winning the lottery. Some people do. Crypto sounds cool. Hello, Tim. DJ Sugar Ray. Amazing. Well, super. Oh, there it is. $4.99 super sticker. Abundance. 1967 abundance 1967 thank you thank you thank you you are too kind that's very generous of you thank you very much truly it means a lot it means a lot i really appreciate it this is like i mean you guys are the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing every time you hit hit the like button every time you leave a comment every time like everything and then the super stickers are like over the top that's amazing i just I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Do, do you still play? If so, which games? I do not play the lottery very often. I do not, but I will if something inspires me. And I have a plan. I have a plan with that. <laughs> and I'm not going to use the word if. When I win a second lottery jackpot, I'm going to interview myself on this channel. But I don't play very often. I'll just play if something inspires me. Like if I were to have a dream about it, 
like I did the last time or with several other things in my life, a dream that's very vivid, that's very real, that convinces me that I should buy a ticket, then I'll buy a ticket. But normally I do not. Sheila L. Art, with the, who is a member of this channel. Sheila, thank you very much for being a member. It's great to see you here today. And I really appreciate your support. I hope you are doing well. Carlos Santana, you have to love that name. You have to love that name. Are you going to let Dr. Dream interview you? Island Joy, thank you for your question. So the last interview on this channel was with Kelly Sullivan Walder, Walden, a.k.a. Dr. Dream. And I did appear. She has a podcast, and I did appear on her podcast. So that is already out there if you want to check that out. I'm sure you can find it. But thank you for your question. Hi, hi, Tim. All the best from Wales. Hello, Jason. All the best to you. Thank you for joining from Wales. And love your content. Power Picks Shop. Thank you. Power Picks Shop. Okay. Hi, Timothy. Greetings from North Dakota. When I win, I'll be live on your channel. Pop is fatty. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Maybe you could be the first person that's live on this channel because we haven't done any interviews. We've premiered them live, but no interviews have legitimately been like happened as live as they're happening. But that is going to happen at some point. I'm also going to start doing on location interviews at other locations and bring people here to the studio and start doing man on the street interviews. So watch for all of those. Oh my gosh, look at this Swiss lioness with the 48 super amazing. That is so generous of you. That is so generous of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Swiss lioness says, I keep dreaming that I'm holding the big lottery check in my hands, I know in my heart that the feeling is real. Soon it will be in my turn. The Euro Millions jackpot will be mine. I can't wait to have an interview with you, Timothy. Much love from Switzerland. Swiss Lioness, thank you for your kind, thoughtful message. And I wish you so much luck in Switzerland. I wish you so much luck. I wish you abundance and happiness. Thank you very much for your generous super. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. Thank you. Hope all is well, Tim. I'm still manifesting my lottery win. Pedro, Pedro, I hope all is well with you too. Okay. Hi, Tim. How do you know which lottery to play when you dream the numbers? Mike James. Mike, that's a really good question. I've never dreamt the numbers, so I can't speak specifically from my experience doing that because I've never done that. The dream that I had, I had won the lottery, but I didn't dream specific numbers, which is why I played quick picks, computer generated picks, because numbers did not have significance. I just felt that if it, if it was going to happen, then all I needed was one ticket. So that's how I felt about it. But uh, if you were to dream of the numbers, how would you know which game to play? You know, that's a good question. I think if I were to dream numbers, it would be, I mean, I think it would be obvious, like what feels best, what feels best to you. That's what you should play. That's what I think. That's what I think. What do you think though? I saw both interviews with you and Dr. Dream. So you saw both of them. Amazing manifestations. I'm so glad to hear that. Yes, because I did appear on Kelly uh, Sullivan Walden's podcast as well. Euro jackpot is 115 million pounds for tomorrow. Send me a good luck emoji family. Oh, well, good luck to you, Sheila. Good luck. Which, which reminds me, which lotteries are you guys playing if you are playing the lottery? There are people here from all over the world. There are lotteries from all over the world. Which lotteries are you playing? What up? Trey J. Trey J. Hello, hello to you. I had a dream last night. This is Nicola O. I had a dream last night that my ex won 100,000 pounds and bought my daughter a car, whatever that means. <laughs> what? Well, that, I mean, that's a wonderful, amazing dream. That's a dream worth 100,000 pounds right there. Nicola, if that plays out, Nicola, you have to email my team. You have to email us. You just do. We want to hear all about that. Jason Evans, everything in existence was first imagined. Follow your dreams 
everyone. Jason Evans. Jason, that's a really good point. And I really appreciate your comment because everything does start with imagination. It starts with an ethereal thought. And this might sound kind of far out, but it's really not. Everything does. Everything. This camera I'm talking into, this, this way, the internet itself, you watching this video right now, everything was first thought of. It was first dreamt. It was first imagined. It was first visualized. And then it was put into something tangible. So it all starts out with, with your imagination. Warrior King, Timothy, is there anyone whom you have interviewed said the importance of meditation for manifestation? Is there, is, what, is there anyone whom you have interviewed said the importance of meditation? So I think you're asking, has, have I interviewed anyone who emphasized the importance of meditation? And the answer to that is yes. I've interviewed quite a few people that believe in that sort of thing, including scientists, including this person I interviewed literally yesterday who played the role of Michael Myers in, in a few different Halloween films, Halloween series, the horror series. Do you guys like horror movies? Because I love them. I love all types of film, but I do love horror movies. And this, the person that I interviewed is very much a spiritual person. And he gets, he talked about becoming Michael Myers, becoming the role, letting that energy come into him because it's a dark role, but it's interesting interview. I'll enjoy. Do you know if anyone has ever won the jackpot off a mega millions scratch off? Well, mega millions is a, is um, not a scratch off. And if you're talking about the United States game, has anyone won the, so unless you're talking about a different game that I don't know about, which game are you talking about? But the Mega Millions in the United States is very similar to the Powerball, where it's balls that are drawn, and it's a very popular game, very popular game, which reminds me, let's take a look at this, because we looked at Euro Millions earlier. Let's take a look at this Mega Millions today, because the next drawing also is Friday. No, this is Euro Millions again. All right, get this. This is not what we want. We want, although I know many of you do because <laughs> Euro Millions is, many of you are playing that. Let's pull this up. Mega Millions today. Where are you? Where are you? Pull up. All right. We're going we're gonna to get this for you guys. This is what happens when you are live. Anything can happen. Just like in life, anything can happen. Everything can happen. And including including getting the correct screen here for the Mega Millions. So let's check this out. Here we go. 178 million jackpot this Friday. Cash option, 70, which means lump sum half right away, which many people opt for, $79.6 million for this Friday. That's Mega Millions in the United States. So there we have it. What are you guys playing? Is anybody in here playing the Mega Millions? I know, I know some of you are. Hello from Bosnia. I will be next on your podcast. Dex Treff. Hello in Bosnia. And I love that. It looks like you have the Rowdy Piper, if I am seeing that correctly, the Rowdy Piper with the sunglasses from They Live, the movie They Live, John Carpenter's They Live. This is must, the whole theme of this live. I think one of them is the horror movies. But Rowdy Piper, I met him once. I hosted him once. And he talked all about They Live. And it's one of the, I love that movie. It's a classic. Sign the ticket or don't sign it. I've heard that more can be done for the benefit of anonymity. But how do you know the lawyer won't rip you off by leaving the ticket unsigned? DVB, that is such a good question. I'm so glad that you asked this. Because literally last week, this interview has not been released yet, but literally last week I interviewed a very renowned, respected attorney who represents several lottery winners. And one of the things he told me was, at least if you win in the United States, I mean, different countries, different places have different rules. But one of the things he told me was, do not, in his opinion, do not sign the back of the ticket because he wants a blank canvas to be able to try and keep you anonymous because different states in the United States have different rules. And if you sign the back, that might limit the possibilities on how to do that. So in his opinion, it's better to not 
sign the back until you speak with um, people that can help you behind the scenes. Anyway, why who? If you dream, if you dream of numbers, buy all the lotteries in your area that you can with those numbers. Okay. So you're saying if you dream the numbers, you would buy every single game with those specific numbers. So that goes back to a question we were just talking about. Euro here, I betted 500 USD. Wow. Are you are you saying that you just spent 500 on the lottery? If I'm understanding you correctly? Luckiest man alive. And remember, first of all, I wish you good luck. Anything is possible. But also, it only takes one ticket for a chance. Only one for a chance. And only spend what you can afford to lose. But also know that you do have a chance and have fun with it. That's my advice. Did you win the Mega Millions or the Powerball? Luckiest man alive. Luckiest man alive. I just feel luckier every time Luckiest Man Alive jumps into these live chats. Uh, For me, it was the Powerball. Thank you for your question. I play Euro Millions. I'm in Spain. Veronica. Veronica, thank you for your question. You're in Spain. Do you play the Spanish Christmas lottery? Because that's the largest lottery in the world, arguably. Paul Lotto America. Paul, hello. Yeah, Lotto America. Amazing. I dreamt of cantaloupe. Donna Roberts. Donna Roberts dreamt of cantaloupe. Wow. Was that a million-dollar cantaloupe? A hundred-million-dollar cantaloupe? I will do okay. All right. I play, we'll play 1 billion coming soon. Raquel, Raquel is waiting for 1 billion. And I totally respect that. I find it really interesting when I meet and interview other lottery winners who played for specific amounts, like uh, Cynthia Stafford, who played specifically for a $112 million jackpot. That's what she was aiming for. And so when she saw that it was that amount, she played that amount and she won that amount. It's amazing. And I also interviewed someone that Daniel Howard, who won 1 million from Euro Millions, and he wrote out a check to himself for 1 million pounds, said he was going to win by a certain date, and then he won by that date for that amount. Hey, Tim, hope you are well. Suede Knight. Suede Knight. I hope you are doing well, too. I believe, sometimes I believe that we live in a simulation. Hey, I think the whole conversation about the matrix and living in a matrix and all of that is really interesting, especially when you start talking to people that have a scientific background and a quantum mechanics background to get their opinion on that. And addicted OW, I have noticed your interviews with people who manifest Do you personally believe in it? And if so, what have you tried to manifest? Addicted OW, thank you for your question. So I have not, basically, when I started this channel, I didn't even know what manifestation was. I didn't know the concept of it. Like, I did not know what the term meant or anything. I thought it was just you imagine something and then it pops into your life, like wishful thinking. That's what I thought. I didn't understand what it was. And so many people kept telling me that you manifested your lottery win. And so I did a lot of research into it and started understanding uh, what manifestation is. And I think there are different definitions of what it is, but I believe that it is something that happens with the power with our subconscious mind and is very interesting to me. But I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. I'm not here to convince anything of anything. I'm just being authentic and sharing my story. And for me, you know, even with the lottery win, I had this very vivid dream about it before it happened. It convinced me it's going to happen. I started telling people that I was going to win because I believed that it's going to win. And I had some other synchronicities happen. And then it happened. So, I mean, you tell me. I'm not here to, to say to um, convince anybody of anything, but I find it very interesting, the whole topic of it. Warrior King. from the And not only my story, and I've had several dreams and experiences way beyond the lottery. That's just one that I talk about on this channel about dreams that have come true, but things like that happen all the time. It's, It's fascinating. And it happens to a lot of people. I'm sure a lot of people watching this, those things happen to too. It just happens. Warrior King. From the people you have... Okay, we just answered that. But I appreciate your question, Warrior King. And not and to clarify one more thing about that, not everybody I interview on this channel, 
necessarily believes in manifestation either, but quite a few people do, and it is a topic I'm exploring. Okay. Oana Mod Modalina, Timothy, before winning, were you playing multiple jackpots or just Powerball? I was just playing Powerball. I was just playing Powerball, but thank you for your question. I met my Wilkinson. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Who won? Who won the billion in the last Mega M Powerball? DJ Sugar Ray. That's a good question. So there was a, a winning ticket in the state of Oregon. For, I don't know if you guys watched the last lottery news video that was on this channel. It came out yesterday, but it's one of the things that was in that video. And well, actually, that was Powerball. And it was 1.326 billion a ticket in Oregon. That's an insane jackpot. That's insane. And somebody won that. And literally, first of all, the, the drawing was delayed by a few hours. So a lot of people were talking about that. But then it did happen. Somebody won in Oregon. And literally by Monday, I believe the drawing was scheduled to take place on Saturday. By Monday, somebody came in with a ticket claiming they had the winning ticket. That's a really short turnaround. What do you guys think about that? Maybe they have their have it, all the help they need behind the scenes, but it, it is a short turnaround. Of course, they haven't announced the person yet because they need to verify that the ticket is actually the ticket, you know, the security process. Greeny. Hi, Timothy. How are you feeling now? So long after your lottery win. How was your, how has your outlook on life changed? Greeny, thank you for your question. That's a really good question. Um, I feel, I feel amazing. I feel great, but I mean, everything, <laughs> the lottery is just one thing that has happened to me in my life. Several things happen to, to all of us, to all of you watching. Um, how has your outlook on life changed? Well, after I won, it was really difficult. First of all, I was ecstatic. I was, I mean, it was amazing, surreal. It's like you're, you get, it literally is shocking. They say lightning, it's like getting struck by lightning. And it is, it, at least it was for me. And for a lot of people that I meet in interview, it is like, it's sort of like the before and the after. And it is like being struck by lightning. But after the euphoria wears off, the exhilaration wears off, it, you come back to what I like to call a new normal. At least that's how it was for me. And I'm incredibly grateful. For a long time, I had a difficult time trusting people that they wanted me for the right reasons. So there was some ad adjusting psychologically in my head, I think. But I've learned to deal with that quite a bit. And I was also 21 years old and I was so uh, surrounded by my peers at the time who were mostly people just trying to put themselves through college. Like myself, I was doing that working at a gas station 40 to 60 hours a week, trying to put myself through college. So it was a huge change. And so most of my peers, they didn't win. So like if I wanted to go on vacation, I had to pay for them. So I mean, there was a lot of psychological things, which was amazing. I mean, it's a first, it's a luxury to have that problem, right? I'm not complaining, but it was, it took a little bit to adjust, I would say. What gas chain did you win from? Hector Ramirez. It was a coastal mart. I don't even know if they're still in business, but the actual gas station, they tore down. They tore down that location. Something else is there. But I... Someday, someday I might return there and do some sort of video or something. If I can get permission, I think it'd be fun. Mitchell Jones, definitely. I have my Mega Millions ticket. Mitchell, all right. I wish you good luck. I had so many dreams that I've won now, and I'm shocked I haven't. With the with the crying emoji face, banana lana, turn that frown upside down. We got to get some some winning happening over for banana lana i wish you good luck banana lana hopefully hopefully that helps turn that frown upside down anything's possible anything's possible play responsibly though hi timothy i am choosing and holding to the belief that in manifesting one day i'll be live guest on your show sharing my story as a new multimillionaire. i watch you and mark hotton anthony caldwell I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you so much for your thoughtful comment. I'm so glad that you found my channel. And Mark Houghton, I've interviewed him a couple times. He has a very popular YouTube channel. 
and he's very much into manifestation and quantum mechanics and and the subject of the lottery. He's won various lottery prizes. So thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate that. Meditate, don't hate. I love your name, by the way. We have to build faith, knowing trust like Jesus. He looked at his disciples and said, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked and the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. Okay. Well, I'm going to meditate on that. I am not going to hate. Terry Jones, I keep getting signs from the universe. The universe is preparing me for the win. Thank you. All right. Thank you for answering my question. DVB, of course. The thing is, I try to get to all of your questions that I can. I know I inevitably miss quite a few because the chat just blows up and it's impossible for me to get to all of them, but I try to get to all of them I can. So I'm so happy that I got to yours. Thank you. It's not about dreaming or luck. Everything has a pattern. Power picks shop. Okay. What is the pattern? What is the pattern? And what is, that's, a, that's an interesting thing we're exploring on this channel. What is luck? Is it random coincidence, right place, the right time? Or as many people that I've interviewed believe, is there something more to it? Not everybody believes that, but a lot of people do. We figured out the patterns. Well, what are the patterns? We need to know what the patterns are. I play La Tinka here in Peru. Have a great day, Timothy. Sebastian, I wish you so much luck. Thank you for watching from Peru. And here, is, Sorel Fraser is a huge supporter of this channel. She's a member of this channel, Sorel Fraser. And she's also a postcode lottery winner. And she is just a very inspiring person. It's great to see you and a huge supporter of this channel. Brightest blessings from the UK. Hope everyone is blessed with abundance. Sorel Fraser, thank you so much. It's great to, great to see you today. Happy Thursday. Thank you for what you do. Sean Garcia, thank you for your support. I had also had a lottery dream with numbers last night, better than cantaloupe. Yes, because someone had a dream about cantaloupe. We were just talking about that. But that is better than a couple weeks. Well, I do these lives every once in a while. And two or three weeks ago, I was doing a live and someone said that they had a bird. I don't know if they dreamt of the bird pooping on their head, but something with bird pooping on a head. And we were talking, it got this chat got crazy as it often does power picks shop. Yes. That's how it works. Okay. Trying to manifest the lotto max 70 million this Friday, send those winning vibes to me. And that's tax free by the way, Alex K, which I'm sure, you know, since you're playing lotto max up in Canada, I wish you so much luck. I've interviewed a few people who have won lottery prizes in Canada. Of course, Randy rush won 50 million. I've interviewed him twice. Also, one of the first interviews on this channel was with uh, Lana McKenzie, who won BC Children's Hospital Lottery when I first started this channel. And also someone that won a dream home, a dream home. So it's just fascinating. Bert, very neat. And I'm going to be interviewing more. And someone that won Lucky for Life in Canada, too. And so maybe you're going to be the next person from Canada. Thank you for this awesome channel, Tim. You really make a difference in this world. Bernice, oh my gosh, with a $10 super. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind words. And thank you very much for the super. Truly, truly, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bernice. Really, I'm I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm humbled. I feel just so appreciative. Thank you. I recently watched the interview with Kelly Sullivan Walden. Can I just say, wow. Great interview viewers on, on her podcast. Congratulations. So much great information. Malu Lee Vlogs. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoyed the interview with Kelly Sullivan Walden. And I'm so glad that you were able to listen to the interview when I was on her podcast as well. I really appreciate your support and your feedback too. Because with each interview that I do, I try to... I strive to get better and better and better. And you will notice a huge difference if you watch some of the, the videos that I put out when I started this channel versus now. I try to get better and better and better. And I am. And that's, that's what I try to do. I think we all should do that with anything that we are passionate about. Chapo Val. Hi, Tim. I've been having luck since listening to your channel. Small wins. But something big is coming. Ch Chapo Val. Wow. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. 
I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you for your comment. Did many, did many friends turn out to be bad friends? Greeny. After I won the lottery, did many friends turn out to be bad friends? No, I was just really, I felt like I was in a shell. I felt like I should, um, it's just really hard for me to trust people. It's really hard for me to trust people. And I had some, especially there's some with families, some relationships that were pretty much um, decimated. I don't know. I don't want to be too <laughs> over the top about it. But it, I mean, it was really painful at the time. But hey, that was me. It doesn't happen to everybody. DJ Sugar Ray, I just learned that three months after your dream that you won, I saw this on the Kelly Sullivan Walden show. DJ Sugar Ray, I'm glad that you saw that interview. Yes, it was about three months after the dream is when I won. Watched you being interviewed by Kelly Walden. Lovely to see you being interviewed. Sorrel Fraser, thank you very much. I'm glad that you were able to see that. Thanks for your feedback. Playing the By playing the power picks. Oh, that's how you get so... We were talking about the patterns earlier. You were talking about the patterns. So you're saying by playing the power picks. Okay. Have you ever seen a UFO, Tim? Luckiest man alive. Luckiest man alive. I have not seen a UFO, but I find the whole topic extremely interesting. It is so fascinating. And I've, I've met people. I've met a few different people that have seen UFOs, including air traffic controllers, including pilots, including a couple people that I've met behind the scenes just from doing this channel. And I find this topic very, very interesting. I have not seen one yet, but hey, I, I know they're out there. I think that I don't think that's a even a question of whether they're out there. It's a question of are they life from like as we know it from this planet, or is it something else? I think that's what people question. Sheila L. Art, Tim, check out the Hollywood Museum. They have a floor dedicated to horror movies with real props. Wow. Okay. I will try to check that out, Sheila L. Art. Thank you. And thank you for being a member of this channel too, which is, I just want to thank all of the members of this channel. I'm so grateful. So grateful. This is like, oh, it just means, it means the world to me. And if you guys are interested, there's this new feature on YouTube where you can become a member of the channel. There's a join button. There should be a join button below this video, and you can get access to behind the scene perks, including custom emojis and uh, things like that. But Sheila L. Art, in the, but way beyond that, it just means a lot to me. And so I really appreciate it. And literally yesterday, as I was saying, I interviewed Michael Myers, someone that played Michael Myers in several Halloween movies. That interview is coming soon. I'm a huge horror movie fan. I don't know about you guys. Shido, how long does it take for the money to get deposited into your account? I think that depends where you are playing, which game you are playing, which country you are in. So I'm sorry to give such a general answer, but generally speaking, I would say a few weeks. It's not like the same moment, but it does... It doesn't take too long. Hi, Timothy from Poland. Monique, 221982. Hello, I'm Poland. Hello, hello, hello. What advice? So we don't have tons of time here. I'm going to try to get to all the questions I can. What advice would you give for someone who is preparing to win the Powerball? What advice would I give to someone that's preparing to win the Powerball? My advice would be to play. Res I mean, I say this all the time, but play responsibly. That's totally and it only takes one ticket to win. Have fun. Believe. Believe. Dream. Dream big about what you will do when you win. I think, I personally, I think it's even healthy to talk about it. <laughs> That's part of the, the fun of playing the lottery. And people that are very much into manifestation believe that there's power in speaking about it too. But beyond that, I think my advice would be to have fun. Only spend what you can afford to lose. And remember that you do have a chance if you win. And beyond that, prepare for an interview on this channel because we can keep you anonymous too. Oh, there's a 10, a 10. What currency is that? Well, regardless, that is very, very generous of you with the 10 super. Thank you very much. And you are saying many years ago, I was daydreaming, manifesting, buying my first PC, adding hardware on paper. One year later, my mom bought the best one available. I find it hard doing the same again. Any suggestions? So you are saying you were daydreaming, manifesting, buying your first PC. 
Uh, one year later, your mom bought the best one available. You find it hard. So I think you're asking for manifestation suggestions, if I'm reading that correctly. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's hard for me to give, uh, what are my suggestions? It's real. So here are my suggestions. This is just generally speaking, because I think every situation, every person is different, but I can't. So my advice, just generally speaking, without knowing any more about you or your situation, this may or may not apply to you. But generally speaking, I find it helpful for myself anyway, when it comes to that sort of thing, to feel, feel like what it is going to be like to experience something. Become that before you become that. Talk to a lot of um, successful athletes. I just saw this quote by Mike Tyson, who has a huge fight, by the way. And of course, he's 58 years old or 57 up there. And that's a whole nother story. But but he was an icon of mine growing up. Mike Tyson, Iron Mike Tyson. But I saw this quote the other day. And a lot of athletes and successful people in life say things similarly. Become that person before you are that person in your head. He used to get up at, you know, in the middle of the night, 4 a.m. to go jogging, or he would be jogging by 4 a.m. The reason he did that is because his competition, he wanted to get an edge on his competition. His competition was not doing that. At least that's what he was thinking. That was his mindset. You become that before you are that. You feel that before you are that. You do the work. You put in the action. You visualize then you put in the action, take the action steps and be persistent. I mean, that's just generally speaking. That may or may not apply to your situation, but um, hopefully that is somewhat helpful because I really appreciate your question and the generous, generous super. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for putting this message into the world. Well, thank you for your support. And I only have a couple more Good question, Justin. Okay, well, what did Justin ask? I think I missed that, as I missed a lot of these, but we're trying to get to all of them we can. Luck is having a positive attitude. Well, the luckiest man alive knows that. So thank you for your comment. DVB, yeah, I would think it'd be the most difficult thing about winning. How do you know who you can trust? How do you know who you can trust? I mean, that's one thing. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. It took For me, it was a learning curve. Randy Rush is awesome. I'm so glad that you think so. I think so too. I think he is awesome, which is why I interviewed him twice. Thank you so much for your comment and your support. Warrior King, Alex K, I like your profile pic. Okay. Let's get caught up in this chat, E.T. or Aliens movie. For me, it's, I mean, they're so different. I love, I love E.T. I also love Aliens. Aliens is more of a horror movie. E.T. is more, mm, you know, family friendly, but it's a classic. It's a classic. The membership doesn't pop up for some reason. Pedro. Well, Pedro, it does on most videos, most videos. If it's not on this live, it might be because this is literally live right now as we speak. After this is no longer live, it might pop up. I'm just guessing. But thank you for looking anyway. I appreciate that. And I appreciate all of the members of this channel. Really, really, really so many. I'm just so grateful. Thank you very much. From Australia, can you please share your synchronous events before your win? Thanks for your wonderful channel. Maria, thank you for your for your question. I've talked a lot about this on this channel, so I'm going to keep this brief. But I have I won a color-coded card game that night that I won. I'm partially colorblind. I was just guessing. It was like a guessing game. I won um, most I I just felt very lucky. I felt very lucky that day. I told people I was going to win. People told me I was going to win. Um, those are a few things that happened that day. And then I had a vivid dream after it had happened, before I knew that it had happened, that signified the end of something. And then I woke up to um, the reality that I had actually won. So it was pretty crazy, pretty surreal, I would say. Would you say you had a lot of synchronicities leading up to? Yes, I, I think I did. Raquel, it's Euro, Tim. Okay. Euro. What are we talking about? Here we are with a 699. Super, my soul, my soul. I love your soul. I love your soul. That is so kind of you. Thank you for your support. 
truly, thank you very much. Blessings to you. Good luck to you and abundance to you. Did you, did you ever work before starting your YouTube channel? Esmeralda Sanchez, thank you for your question. That's a really good question too. There's so many good questions in this live today. Um, did I work? I did. It just wasn't for money. I mean, it was for money, but it wasn't like that wasn't my motivation, I would say. But uh, yeah, I did. I, I worked on quite a few films, um, different. I went to college, which I consider work because there's so much homework, <laughs> which is work. It's a different kind of work. Uh, I worked on several films, several productions. I started a festival that went on for several years. So I, I did work because if you win, a, if let's say theoretically, and some of you watching this are probably already retired, or I know there are a lot of lottery winners who watch this channel. Some of you, or maybe you made a lot in investments, whatever, or have an inheritance, whatever the story. If you are theoretically, if you have enough money where you are retired, what are you going to do with your life? Are you going to just sit around and do nothing? Or are you going to work on something that you are passionate about or that you want to do with your life? You need a reason to wake up in the morning. And I think a lot of people, they work and work and work for this day when they're going to retire. But what are you going to do when you retire? At least for me, I just don't think a lot of people, at least for me, I, I couldn't just sit around. I think I'd be very bored after a little bit of time. Neil Trotter was a good interview. Rob Holyoke. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoyed that interview with Neil Trotter, who won 108 million pounds from, from Euro Millions. And he's also very much into manifestation. So if you have not watched that interview, check it out. Neil Trotter is such, he's such an intriguing person. Euro. So, okay. So you are saying that, so there was a someone that donated a very generous super and I couldn't decipher what the currency was. And you are saying that it's Euro. So there we go. I did not, yeah. And it was just on my screen, it was so little, it was hard for me to, to see. But that's good to know that it was it was Euro. And I'm so grateful for all of you, including everyone, several, many of you watching this are playing Euro Millions, Euro Jackpot, whether you're in Europe or the UK, like that whole area of the world. I love it. I love it so much. And I love the lottery games over there too. Absolutely. So thank you so much for being supporters of this channel. When I went, And I've interviewed several people that have won the lottery in various countries over there in Europe or different places and the UK and Northern Ireland. And I'm going to be interviewing more. So I really appreciate it. And it could be you. It could be you watching this. Cookies and pie. When I win the lottery, I'm going to start my own production company. Cookies and pie. I love that idea. I love that. New Jersey Mega Millions. Amazing. Okay, so I do have to get going, guys. But uh, mm. I really, really appreciate your support. Watch for this interview coming soon with Sam Price, who is into crypto, also very much into manifestation. It's a fascinating conversation. There's so many other interviews coming soon with lottery winners and others. Uh, who have won triumphed over the odds in various ways in life and also people that are into intuition, manifestation, that sort of thing. But wherever you are in the world, if you play the lottery, I wish you so much luck, so much luck. Play responsibly, but have fun. Remember anything and everything is possible. And remember to contact my team for an, for an interview on this podcast. We can keep you anonymous. And Rob Holyoke, yes, blessings to you. Blessings to you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Anything is possible. Take care.